Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, it's TGIF fish segment of the week, and I'm still doing shrimp, y'all. And I'm gonna explain you why I'm still doing shrimp. I had planned to do a fish, but I'm gonna get a lot of fish in before. I know a lot of people's on the, uh, as my friend would say, the lengthen season, but it's Lent season. I got a friend who is, it is really, he is hilarious. He said, it's the Lenten season of the Lord Jesus. I said, okay, <laughs> whatever. It's Lent, I tell him. But anyway, I know a lot of people on that, especially my Catholic family members. So I will be doing a lot of fish the next few weeks before I used to get here. But I had a friend hit me up. You know, you got friends that hit you up and never ask for nothing. You know, like I told you, those rider dies and never ask you nothing. Just, you know, just hit you up just to be hitting you up. But he hit me up and asked me what's a good recipe. Him and his wife having a date night at home, what's a good recipe, and she loves shrimp. I told him, look, I'm gonna make, you hit me up on the right time. I said, I'm gonna do a video for this. A little piece of shrimp gonna be missing, but I'll do you some shrimp scamping because she loves shrimp and she loves pasta. So they hits the nail on both of them. I said, all you gotta do is put some vegetables with it and uh, you'll have your dinner for tonight. So. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do a shrimp scampi here. It's very quick, very simple. The hardest part for me is getting everything prepped. I got these nice Gulf shrimp here. I was telling y'all that I use, I always have in my freezer. So I'm gonna finish peeling them. I'm gonna take the tails off of these completely, not what I want to do fried. I'm gonna take the tails, everything off completely, get them deveined nicely. I'm gonna get my pasta cooked off pretty much first because this, this comes together so much quick that uh, I got my water boiling over here, y'all. That's why I'm moving around here. Because I want my pasta to already be ready. So when this shrimp comes together, I have to delay. Because shrimp cooks so quick and the sauce cooks so quick. What I'm going to show you, it's going to be restaurant quality shrimp scampi. Just like you get in uh, whatever restaurant you go to, all the shrimp scampi. I don't order shrimp scampi in no restaurant because it's never done correctly. Yeah, I'm that guy. I know how it should be done, how it should be tasted. Usually the shrimp is overcooked, the sauce is too watery. So yeah. So anyway, y'all, I'm gonna step off, get everything prepped up, and uh, I'll be right back. We're gonna knock the shrimp scampi out. Old school soul food, TGIF, fish segment of the week. Just getting started, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. I did a little prep work here. Now, what I'm gonna do, I got my skillet heating up. I got my pasta hot back here. So what I got, I got my shrimp all nice and clean. See that, nice and pretty. I took the tails off and everything. So this eats whole, you can't have like, you can, but it eats so much better without the tails on it. I chopped my parsley up, I got some diced chopped garlic back here. A little cream, I'm gonna tell you why I'm putting that in there later. Fresh lemon juice here and butter. And then my seasoning is here. So what we gonna do first, we gonna season these shrimp up. All I'm gonna put is the shake on there, I'm gonna put the oil on here to let the, make sure the seasoning stick really good. So I'm gonna put a little oil in here. Let me move this to the back. I'll do this to later. Uh, let's get this heat up back here. Okay, I got a little oil in there. Let me get a little spoon here for my, for my uh, shrimp. Like I said, I'm going to put a little shake on there. And a little cavenders here. Season up really, really good. Off the seasoning in there with the oil. And what the oil kind of helps it stick a little, y'all, a little better. Okay. Now, let me move y'all over here to my skillet. Got my skillet there heating up. Got my pasta in the back, as y'all can see. Okay. I'm put a little oil in here. I really want to sear these really, really quick, y'all. And I do not want to cook them that long at all. Because uh, I'm going to put them back in the sauce uh, when I make the sauce for this. Like I said, this takes no time at all. Move this out the way. Got my salt and pepper over here. I'm going to need it for the sauce. Okay, y'all. I'm going to add a little butter to this. A little butter in here. it off of that because I don't want the butter to get too too hot. 
And just like we were making in the restaurant, y'all. All of a new, when you get order, that's how we would do it. Make that really hot now. I'm gonna add my shrimp to this, y'all. I wanna get a nice sear on this shrimp. Get nice and seared here. Less liquid as possible. Spread them out as much as you can. Well, the goldie smells amazing, y'all. Absolutely amazing. Okay, I'll move these around a little. Like I say, these don't take long at all. I don't want to cook them that long at all. And we're going to make the sauce right in the same pan as the shrimp, y'all. One skillet going to do this. Turn them over here. A nice color on them. Nice pretty sear on there. Once I turn them over, I'm gonna take them out of here. Cause they ain't, they ain't finished. Cause I'm gonna add them back in here when I make my sauce. So I'm get them all turned over here. See that pretty color? That's what you want, y'all. That's what you want. All right, see that? Pretty color there. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take them off of here, y'all. I'm gonna take them out of here, and put them right in this bowl here. Right in this bowl. That's all the cooking I wanna do on these because remember, I'm gonna cook these again when I make the sauce. I'm gonna make the sauce right in this skillet, y'all. Right in the season, it's all flavor right here. It's like making a gravy, but it's not gonna be a gravy, it's gonna be a butter sauce. Okay, see that pretty as that is? That didn't take long at all. I'm telling y'all, this one, that's why I went on and did my pasta ahead of time, because I don't wanna be fooling with the pasta, trying to get it cooked and all that. Okay, now, first thing I'm gonna do, add my lemon juice to this. Move it around in here. All this flavor, y'all. It's all flavor. Get out this skillet. It's all flavor. And what I want to do, y'all, I want to reduce this here about halfway. Let me add my garlic to this, too. Let me add my garlic to this while I'm doing it. I definitely want the garlic to, to cook down, too, with this. So all I got in here is garlic and lemon juice. That's it. Now I want this to cook, reduce down about three quarters of the way. So I'll be right back in just a second. Okay, y'all, we are back. Okay, y'all, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some cream to this. That's like a couple of tablespoons of cream. The reason I'm adding the cream, it's gonna stabilize this sauce and so it don't split. If I wasn't holding this sauce for later, I wouldn't put the cream in there. It's just to help, it's like a little stabilizer, something like, uh cream of tartar would do. So I'm gonna put this in here, I'm gonna turn the fire down just a little, and I'm gonna add salted butter to this. And I still might have to add some salt after this, but I'm gonna check it afterwards. The butter I'm putting in here is salty. And this is like making a lemon butter sauce for the chicken macada. Add it slowly. You don't want the fire too hot, and you don't want the fire too cold. It gotta be a certain temperature, and you must keep stirring it. You do not want this to come to a boil at all. Just add butter slowly, real slowly, slowly as possible. And like I say, y'all, you can add a couple of tablespoons of heavy whipping cream to it just to stabilize it. But like I say, my friend gonna travel with this and we need re heat it back up, the sauce will still be good. If I was just to eat this right now in my house, I wouldn't put no cream and stir stabilize in it because I didn't, it's not necessary. Okay, add a little butter slowly but surely, add my butter. 
and it's slowly going to thicken the sauce, y'all. Check my fire here. Fire is good. Nice and low. This smells amazing, y'all. All this is a fancy garlic butter sauce, y'all. It's gonna go awesome on that shrimp and then that on that pasta when I pour it over there. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. Like I said, you don't wanna add the butter too much. You don't want this to cool down. You want it to keep cooking, but you don't want it to boil either. That's the key. You add the butter very slowly. Because you add the butter too quick, it's gonna split. If you don't add it quick enough, it's gonna split. Because it's gonna get too cold on you. So there's a uh it's gonna get too hot on you. So that's a thin line. You don't want to get too hot. You don't want to get too cold. And see how quick this comes together, y'all. I'm telling y'all. That's why I don't order shrimp scampi in the restaurants. Because the problem is, the pet peeve of mine, they don't make the sauce right. It be like water. And I know how shrimp scampi sauce is supposed to be. I guess that's the disadvantage of making this so many times. So I got my spoon here. I'm going to taste this in a second. Right at the end, we're going to add our parsley. Then we're going to add our shrimp back to this. Toss it together. And that's going to be it. We're going to put our pasta in the bowl. Lay the shrimp on top. Put the pasta on top. Voila. We got shrimp scampi. Easy, quick, simple dish. Okay. A little bit more. See that? See how thick that got with that butter in there? And that nice garlic in there, it's gonna be amazing. Let me taste this while that last butter's heating up. Like a little bit more salt to this, not much, y'all. That's it. So you might have salt in there with the shrimp and salt in the butter. And if you're using unsalted butter, of course, you let your little salt and pepper, but this is perfect. Now, and then we'll get that a little left, left butter there. Now, I cut my heat off because my residual heat going to finish melting this butter here. So, my heat is off. When you get to this point, cut the heat off. See that? See how pretty that is? Simple, simple shrimp scampi. Okay. Now, now all I'm going to do, I'm going to add me a little chopped parsley to this. Add the chopped parsley. See that? Now, I'm gonna add my shrimp back into this. Remember that nice shrimp that we had? I'm gonna add this back to this, but don't use the juice. It's very important. Don't pour the juice in there. Just put your shrimp back in there. That's all you're gonna do. Make sure you do not put it, because that will mess up your sauce completely. Now the heat from this sauce is gonna be enough to cook this shrimp on down, y'all. You don't have to put the, uh, cut the shrimp. You know shrimp don't take much. You do not have to uh, cut the, cut the uh, sauce back on. All you do is just coat your shrimp right there. See that? See how easy and simple that is? Look at that. Look at that. My friend and his wife going to be happy tonight. Have that for supper. Look at that. See that? Spread it out like that. Now look, I got my pasta back here in the back. And what I'm going to do, see that? I'm going to put this, I'm going to plate it up in a bowl here and do my world famous YouTube thumbnail. We're going to be back and we're going to try a little bit of this shrimp here. That's definitely enough for two people. So I'm going to eat a little of it and then we're going to send the rest of them. So anyway, y'all, I'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all, let me show you here. Let me show you this big bowl of goodness. Look at that. Look at that. That's so simple, so easy to make, y'all. I'm telling you, this will feed... They can have leftover tonight. So I'm going to take a, like I told you, I'm going to take a little out of here. Hold on just a second. Get my tongs here. Like I said, I use some uh, kind of whirly noodles there. I think it eats better with this. Get a couple of shrimp there. Some sauce. See that? Look at that. Let's try this out. The shrimp is perfectly cooked, y'all. Perfectly cooked shrimp. And I didn't want to overcook them too much because they definitely got to rewarm this. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Perfectly garlic taste, buttery. I'm going to show you shrimp is perfectly cooked there. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm I go wrong. 
the sauce and all that butter on that sauce, that uh, garlic butter sauce. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. A little bit more here. Mm. I need some garlic bread. Get you some garlic bread. Hmm. And it's on. But make this for your family. You can use any pasta. People gonna ask what kind of pasta if I'm gonna have. Use any noodles you want. If you want to use spaghetti, use spaghetti. It doesn't matter, y'all. I want to tell people, make it your own. And you can do this with fish. Take you some fish, season it off. Exactly like I did the shrimp. Sear it off in the skillet. No flour, no nothing. Take it on. And the same procedure. You can do this with fish, anything. It will work. Chicken. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, y'all. Let me get another bite of this. Mm, mm, mm. I'm telling y'all, the key is when you eat this, like I said, when I've eaten in restaurants, the shrimp is like rubber. The key is don't overcook your shrimp. Take them, just sear them off on both sides. Take them out. So that sauce, when you put it back in that hot sauce, it's going to cook it another minute or so, all it needs. So, anyway, y'all, TGIF, fish segment of the week in the book. Next week, I'll be back to do an actual fish for y'all. So, anyway, if you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Oh, I got choked up there. Love y'all. Bye.